Hey, I'm recording a video here to show you the gameplay on the hammer's end, and it's going to be super quick. So we have PvP and PvE servers, and we're going to log in. I have this character, Britches, already created, but I'm going to delete her, and we're going to go back to the character creation screen. We have four different races, and each race is tied to certain classes. So you have uh, Druid, Witch, pa uh, Paladin, Shaman, Necromancer, and Shadow Knight. And so we'll go ahead and play the... Um, Shadow Knight here, and we'll call him Shad Burr, Shad Burr, or Sod Burr. And we're going to create him, and then we're going to go ahead and enter the world. Had a lot of sound issues with this game, so it kept on messing up the mic. I couldn't hear myself because the sound was too high. So let's go ahead and listen to the sound real quick. That's him walking around, um, and that can get pretty annoying and uh, I'll let you look at the world. As far as the sounds of the spells, um, they're pretty much all the same. You have that, and you have that. <laughs> um, you have a guild interface, you have uh, advancement, I guess this is when you get farther in the game, 500,000 advancement points. When I've leveled in the game, I couldn't really figure out what to do to level up my skills or whatever, so that was a little frustrating. Um, you do have a spells, where is it? You can sit and stand. Um, market's not finished. Help, nice little help screen, which is useful. Um, quest screen for your quest logs. Uh, inventory screen here. And there's also, somewhere I saw there was some sort of spell interface, spell book or something like that, which I can't find right now. Um, the environments are, are decent, they're, you can't jump, jumping is, you know, something I miss. But you have the world here, and even, it, it is actually a little bit difficult, so like even these level 2 bugs, I'll probably have difficulty fighting, so we'll go over here and fight some real quick. The only indicator, um, add some vitality to myself, click on myself, just vitality. And you right click and you, you, you get your loot, which there, I got 10 copper, but I didn't get any loot. So, um, and the other thing is you can collect items too, so you're harvesting. I haven't seen any crafting in the game yet. And I just want to... I'm not sure if it's recording my voice when I'm running around. So, and if you go into the options screen uh, for game options, well, sound isn't developed yet, key binding isn't developed yet, the other ones work. So, most of the towns look similar to this. There's like three or four structures, and then there's like a few NPCs that tell you what to do. If you ever get lost, you can always teleport back to your home, like this. And here we are. Um, I want to talk about this. If you want to explore the world a little bit, because I ran around for 20 minutes, I didn't find much different. I found some crabs and some water. If you want to kind of see the world, you can go to the teleport binder, click on them. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not the right person. That's to bind this location. There should be. Maybe he's down here. <coughs> Rainfall, a travel coach, which is basically just you know it takes you different places. So if you want to go see what you know, this is a cool place. It shows cactus. You know, same concept though. You have different housing structures, about three, a uh, path, and an environment. So uh, I like I like some of the design elements here. And let's go to Undermoon. This looks like another forest area. And something that sounds unique. The glades. 
that looks pretty much the same. There was like lily pad or something that I went to before that was pretty interesting. Underbog. That sounds interesting. Raven Village. What if these are determined by your character too? Um, which I think they are, because there are some here that I'm not seeing uh, that were with Underbog. Oh, so we're like talking a legitimate dungeon. Oh, and I'm dead. So, Fungus Dweller. And that's the same character model as I saw for a lower level character. So that's the game pretty much. Uh, I'm not super impressed with it, but uh, you know, it might be kind of fun to run around for free and explore and maybe help the, the developers develop it, but for $15 I just I don't see it. So uh, that is some gameplay from the Hammer's End, and this is the end of the video. Thanks!